Good day fellow modelers. Welcome back to another Handy review. I'm Mr. Handy. Uh, today we're going to take a look at Dream Models uh, AS565 Panther um, Yeah, I got this one for uh, I was going to do an Israeli uh, Navy version of this so but uh, we'll take a peek uh, as you can see French and French um, 70 second skill there's your QR code if you want it this kit is 720008 of course this is a an, an add-on to their uh, uh, dolphin that they did uh, earlier so let's take a peek and see what's inside <clears throat> oh, that's a photo wash this time Nice box. <laughs> All right, let's switch in here. So let's take a peek at our instructions again, as per Dream Models one page instructions. So there you can see everything that we need to do to build this beast. And then we'll take a look on the other side. There you go. Awesome. Here is your painting instructions. Um, they only provide the two variants, it looks like. So they're both French. So this one is, uh, it looks like some type of a special scheme. Uh, I'm going to say... Yeah, it doesn't say on the box, unfortunately. But, yeah, as you can tell, it looks like a special scheme. I don't read Chinese, so I can't tell what it is. Uh, I guess there's two special schemes. Um, I don't know if they're the same. Oh, there's two different squadrons, it appears. Like, So this looks like it might, might be 507 squadron or number 507. I don't know. Uh, this here, 95 to 2015, so it must be their 20th anniversary. Oh no! Sorry, thirtieth anniversary. I can't read, or I can't, uh, I can't count. <laughs> so we have uh, four sprues. We have some uh, four sprues. We have some uh, resin bits. Clear your body and your innards. So we'll take a look at each one of them and see what we can see. So here is the main body. As you can see, it has some pretty good surface detail. Uh, it's not overdone, I don't think. Not even close. There is no real rivets on this. And as for the inside, it's just all your inside parts are on that other sprue. So, um, but yeah, it's no, well, it's. Not a very big helicopter. So, um, there's that one. We'll take a peek at this. This, of course, is, like I said, all your innards. It's interesting that they molded this in tan. Because um, uh, I have another one of these and it's all in grey, but... So let's take a peek here. Here's your uh, main cabin and your cockpit. There's some warrior pieces of the cockpit. Um, I mean, the de detail is pretty standard. It's you know not not super great, but you know as far as I understand, this is uh, no. I guess this is uh, this is the uh, second version of this because as uh, as far as I can remember, it looks like I might have a bit of a deformation here on my rotor on that one. Hmm. Interesting. And then as you can see, the other rotors, your, uh, this is your uh, control console. And there doesn't appear to be a whole heck of a lot of surface detail. It There's a little bit, 
but it's really hard to make out. So, and then this would uh, I would assume is uh, part of your combing in the front. And then we have parts for the rotor. There's your rear part of the rotor for your fan. So, but yeah, I've got a bit of a nick or something in this one miscast on the, the rotor there. So, gonna have to uh, do some detailing on that or some work on that, I guess. Um, <clears throat> like I said, I was gonna pick, I was gonna, I picked this one up because. This is the for version of the uh, of the dolphin that the uh, Israeli Navy does uses. So I wanted to uh, represent something. Wanted to represent one from the IDF. So uh, I'm not too sure what that is. They're very very small piece, and you don't appear to be out there. We go. So. Here's the nose replacement piece. So for uh, the, di the nose is a little bit different on these. It's got um, it, some type of, it looks like almost like a radar warning receiver in the front. Um, more resin pieces. Not too sure what that's from. It could be from the back end. And then here it would be a couple extra little pieces for whatever we'll have to look into the instructions more but that's what you get in the kit for your sprues we'll take a look at the clear sprue and then we'll take a look at the photo etch so oh Clear sprues are actually pretty nice, and they appear very clear, as they should be. A little bit of marring on this one. Um, I have to get in a little bit of just a little bit of uh, of uh, flash too. So. Take a peek at the photo etch. And I guess the decals too, because they're added in there. So the photo etch, there you go. Not a whole lot to it. It's a lot of extra parts. Um, I'm not super familiar with this chopper. All I know is I like the look. And like I said, I, li I like the... Uh, I want to do it in Israeli. What I like about... Um, dream models is that their photo etch has a plastic film over it so it keeps everything together it's not going to get crunched or anything and I don't know if you can see but you can you might be able to barely make it out there's a film over top of everything so I think that's a handy little thing um, of course we have if we take a look at this it looks like we have uh not too sure what that is. That might be for the front. We got looks like a, a flare box. Uh, I'm not even going to venture to say what everything is here. A uh, bunch of aerials. Um, yeah. So nice. But like I said, I kind of like that that they put this plastic film over it. I think that's a great idea. There's your decals that come with it. And as I said, it's just uh, two French Navy versions in this box. Um, they've done quite a bit with this kit. Uh, there's a lot of different versions. Um, apparently the Chinese have also used this variant in their army and in their Navy. Um, and Dream Models has... Uh, basically gone ahead and um, molded all those too. So they got quite a bit of uh, travel out of their molds. Um, there's a uh, 
Chinese Armed Forces version. There is uh, the, of course, the uh, um, the Coast Guard version. Uh, there is, uh, I believe, another Navy version of this. There's a Chinese Navy version of this. Uh, torpedo launcher or something along those lines. So, um, like I said, they have the two versions. They've got the uh, Dolphin version and they've got the Panther version. And as I, I, I'm not super familiar with the helicopter, uh, but I believe the only real difference between the two is the nose. Uh, they have different equipment uh, in the nose area. So that's what you get in Dream Models Panther. Uh, yeah, thanks for uh, stopping by and checking out this uh, review. Uh, go take a peek at the other reviews I have on my channel. Uh, got a bunch of uh, other kits and uh, books. So other than that, you have a wonderful day. Happy modeling. And uh, we'll see you on the next review.